in this lab, you're going to develop a tax calculator. Uh, so we're going to try three input values that are actually uh, specified in your instructions. You should really refer to the instructions for the detailed breakdown for how the income can be split up to four parts, depending on how large the income is, and also depending on what the filing status is, which can be either single, household, or married depending on these two parameters. So your income tax can be split to up, up to uh, four parts, uh, uh, either one part, two parts, three parts, or four parts. Okay, let's demonstrate to see uh, how uh, different inputs might give you a different result. Okay, first of all, the first value, let's try. So you can see that uh, we, the title over here should be EECS 1022 Winter 18 Lab 2 Tax Calculator. So this must match. And then you must be uh, the user must be able to specify, uh, input their name, and also there should be a spinner over here to select the status. In which case we got three options. It, it has to be verbatim, single, married, or household. And then after that, the third input would be the income value, which should be uh, might have a some fractional part. Okay, let's try something that's integer, but your uh, your input. Uh, your uh, app should really allow also some fractional number to be input. Okay, let's try this one first. Okay, enter your name. Let's say Alan over here, and then let's say Alan is a single uh, filing uh, user. Okay, and now in this case, let's put his income to be. Okay, so we don't have to change the uh, status over here. So let's say for the uh, income, it should be uh, one a six. Okay, let's see, 186 and then 476, okay? So that's Alan, okay? Once uh, after the income, of course, you should really also allow, for example, if I say 0, 0.0, that should also be allowed. So not just integers. Uh, the input values we give to you happen to be integers, but you must be able to accept also double values, okay? Okay, after this, so we're gonna say compute text. Okay, now let's see in more details. As soon as we click uh, click on the button here, it's, co it's going to uh, collect a result. Okay, now your result should contain uh, the following lines. The first line must be the name, comma, your tax due is the total amount with a dollar sign. And then the second line should be to tell the user the calculation is based on which scheme of the filing. In this case, because we chose single, so that should be single filing. And then depending on how large the input, uh, in income is, so now in this case, it can be split up to, uh, it can, can be split to four parts exactly, up to four parts, okay? In this case, uh, four parts. You can see that if you add up the numbers over here, 835, 3,840, and uh, 12,075, and also 312, uh, sorry, 31,000, uh, two hundred sixty-seven point eighty. So if you add up these four numbers together, it should be exactly the tax uh, Alan should pay. Okay, at the uh, at the first line. Okay, so you should really uh, if you're really not sure about how these can be calculated, you should really refer to the instruction. It tells you how you can break it down and then uh, do the weighted uh, sum. Okay, so let's try the second one. Okay, the second one over here. Let's change the name to be Mark. And let's say Mark is a different, uh, has a different filing status. Let's say Mark is a married filer. Okay, so we chose Mary over here. And now the income is going to be, let's see what it should be. Okay, for Mark, it's gonna be 137,000, 137, okay. So of course, make sure it's a valid number. 137,000 uh, and $35 and $35. Okay, that's for Mark. And if you compute the text, okay, let's uh, see. So now it would say that what uh, what's the amount due in the first line? It must be exactly to say Mark, comma, your tax due is this amount. Okay, and then calculation uh, on the second line, calculation is based on the scheme of Mary filing because we chose married for the input. And then in this case, uh, Mark's income is only going to be split into three parts. Okay, you should really see why in the instruction. Okay, so this will be three parts. In this case, part number four should just be zero, in which case you don't print it out. Okay, so let's just see a final input value over here. Let's try another name over here. Let's say Tom. 
Okay. Again, these are just examples, so you should really try your own inputs to, tr to try to make sure, uh, try different possibilities in which the income tax can be split to maybe one part, two parts, three parts, or four parts. Okay, let's say Tom is a household filer, and then what about income? Let's say for the income over here, let's say it's 11,800, okay, 11,800 dollars for Tom. And then we say compute text. And then if you see the output here, again, the first line, the name, comma, your text due is, in this case, uh, $1,180. And then make sure every time when you dis display the numbers, the total text and also the breakdown, you must display exactly two digits after the decimal point. It's a hard requirement. So you must do that in your app. Okay, in this case, we will say calculation is based on the scheme of uh, household filing on the second line. So that's also important, depending on what you chose for the status uh, spinner, okay? And then in this case, we only say part one, and that's exactly that amount, okay? So now we have demonstrated to you three possible input values, and that should be sufficient for you to get an idea how your app should behave. But you should really try different values to make sure your app is really working properly for all the cases.